Z Business has reported that Argentina is all set to sign a deal for 15 Tejas Mark 1A aircraft with Hindustan Aeronautics worth 8,675 crore rupees, and it could take place during a visit of the Argentinian Defence Minister to New Delhi tomorrow. Argentine Air Force pilots have already flight tested the aircraft in India, and Hindustan Aeronautics has already signed a memorandum of understanding with its Argentine counterpart Fabrica Argentina da Avianas, for exploring the possibilities of collaboration in the field of maintenance repair and overhaul, and to meet any offset requirements in case of sale of handmade platforms in the Latin American region. According to a media report, Indian Navy officials and representatives from BrahMos Aerospace have started discussions regarding the potential integration of the BrahMos NG air launched supersonic cruise missile onto the underwing pylons of the P 8I maritime aircraft. The P 8I aircraft will be capable of carrying four BrahMos NG missiles under its wings, and with its Mach 3.5 capability and a range of 290 km, it offers enhanced anti ship warfare capabilities. The Indian Navy has also decided to integrate the BrahMos NG on six Calvary class submarines. The Indian Navy along with the Bab Atomic Research Centre and the Electronics Corporation of India Limited have signed a Memorandum of Understanding, to facilitate the indigenous development and production of various control systems and multifunctional display and 11 types of control consoles used in pressurized nuclear reactors, for the projected fleet of six nuclear-powered attack submarines of the Indian Navy. After signing Memorandum of Understanding for building three more Scorpion-class submarines for Indian Navy, Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders and Naval Group have now joined forces for exploring the export potential of the Made in India Scorpion-class submarines. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders also plans to offer the DRDO-developed AIP module to all existing operators of Scorpion-class submarines. The French firm Naval Group has offered assistance technological support and design expertise for the development of landing platform docks to India. The Indian Navy plans to construct four landing platform docks domestically, that will be armed with 32 VLSR SAM and 16 ship-launched anti-ship missiles, and should have a 10,000 nautical miles endurance at economical speed with a reserve fuel capacity of 25%. After receiving a restricted type certificate from the European Aviation Safety Agency for its Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopter, Hindustan Aeronautics is now set to embark on the European Aviation Safety Agency certification process for its single-engine light utility helicopter, that will enable the civilian variant of the light utility helicopter to be marketed and sold in the European market. The Indian Army has signed a contract for procurement of tactical access switch with Tato Advanced Systems Limited. The compact modular and ruggedized networking device would provide faster switching capability, and thus strengthen the tactical communication capability of the Indian Army. In preparation for long endurance operations, INS Vikrant aircraft carrier is set to undergo a guarantee refit at Cochin Shipyard, that will ensure the carrier's optimal performance and readiness for extended operational deployments. Officials have said, that the aircraft carrier will be equipped with the Israeli MF Star radar by the end of 2023, that features long-range surveillance tracking and fire control capabilities. Oh, my God.